On June 4th, 2022, Jeff Bezos' Blue Origin rocket blasted off, making history by carrying the first Mexican-born woman into space, Katia Ekazareta. <laughs> It was really hard for me to believe it. Despite already working for NASA and having a goal of one day being an astronaut, her mission was fast-tracked when she secured a seat on the flight through an organization called Space for Humanity. I was selected out of 7,000 applicants from all over the world as the first citizen astronaut in their citizen astronaut program. Space for Humanity, we're here! The nonprofit wants to send people like Eka Zaretta to space to experience what's called the overview effect a unique shift in worldview achieved by astronauts, and hopefully inspire them to affect meaningful change back here on Earth. Primarily, I want to help minorities and women interested in, in STEM fields. Since her flight, she says she's been laser focused on doing that, using her newfound notoriety and platform to meet with Mexican leaders. Of course, I'm gonna use my voice. if. You're putting the highest officials of a country in front of me, and I have a voice that I can use, I am going to use it. She says the title, first Mexican-born woman in space, is one that carries great responsibility. And she realizes just how much her accomplishments mean for women who still feel very much tied to traditional gender roles. She becomes emotional remembering what happened during a recent speaking engagement in Mexico when an older woman came up to her. She held me by the hands and she looked me in the eyes and I knew what she meant just by her look. I said to her, we don't have to stay home anymore. And she started crying. At just 27, 26 at the time of her flight, Akazaretta is also one of the youngest women to go to space. It's been a journey of ups and downs that actually began right here in San Diego County, growing up in Chula Vista. And although the plan was to go to college elsewhere, she ended up staying to help support her single mother and younger siblings and enrolling at San Diego City College. That's you. That, that is tells, me. That tells your story. Rafael I mean, Alvarez was Ecazaretta's director at Mesa, Math, Engineering, Science Achievement Program. And I never get tired of looking at this nor smiling. it, And I walk by it every day and smile. <laughs> he says she's just one of many incredible examples of the students who come through this campus. That they achieve these things is, is just proof that they have great potential. Ekazaretta's start at City College then led to UCLA, where she graduated with a degree in electrical engineering and went straight to work at NASA. She's now getting her master's from Johns Hopkins University. Have you ever put a nine volt battery directly on your tongue? Creating educational programming and doing all she can to diversify the STEM fields. I want to bring space to Mexico. I want to to help any little kid who has dreams of working or contributing to the space industry, I want them to have that opportunity. An opportunity she had. A young woman who once also worked at McDonald's. She says she just wants people to know it wasn't always easy. In fact, it rarely was. She struggled and sacrificed, failed time and time again, but as cliche as it might sound, never gave in to the doubts and never gave up on herself. I don't want anybody to look at me and think of me like a superhuman. I want people to look at me and think, well, she did it. She's normal just like us, so why can't I?